name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. O God, enfold me. O God, surround me. O God, in my, be in my speaking and in my very thinking. O God, be in my life. O God, be in my, on my lips. O God, be in my soul and in my very heart. Circle me, Lord. Protect me and keep danger afar. Circle me, Lord, and give me hope and banish doubt. Circle me, Lord, be my light and keep darkness afar. Circle me, Lord, give me peace within and keep evil without. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 18 through to 23. Then the disciples of John reported to him concerning all these things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And that very hour, he cured many of the infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits. And to many blind he gave sight. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he, who is not offended because of me. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes and your, to your teachings, to your words, that so we can understand them and their meaning. In this scripture reading today, very familiar because it's not that long ago we read a, a uh, verse from scripture similar to this. I think it actually is the one. But we are reading it again just to remind ourselves. John, even though he knew that Christ was the Messiah, that this man he just baptized. <coughs> was the Messiah. But for the sake of his disciples who were following John the Baptist, they sent, he sent them to ask Jesus, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And of course we read then, how Jesus was performing many miracles. He cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits, and many blind he gave sight. Yes. And Jesus told John's disciples to go and tell him the things you have seen and heard that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. During this Advent season, we are reminded once again what it's all about. As followers of Jesus Christ, do we need to look for another? No. Jesus 
is the one. We must be true disciples of Jesus in following him. Yes, it is important. So make the most of these days of Advent fasting and praying that we prepare ourselves for the incarnation of Christ. When God the Son became man, he took on all of us as we are. Yes, he was fully human in all ways, yet he still was divine. Pray. Pray for an understanding of why we are following Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. We cannot go to heaven unless we follow Jesus. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is what we must understand. Preach the word by our actions. Yes. As true disciples of Jesus Christ, we must preach that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Every day, live your lives as true disciples of Jesus Christ and not of this world. The world around us in, is in darkness. We must not follow them in their silly, silly ways. We are disciples of Jesus Christ. We follow only one, not the world, but Jesus Christ. He is the one. He is the coming one. We do not look for another. We do not follow the world in its madness. And it is mad. You've only got to, got to spend a few minutes watching the news on television or listening to it on the radio. How crazy the world is. It is not of God. We only follow that which is of God. I urge you all to return. Return to the way. If you have stopped going to church, return. It is the place for you. It is the place where you should be. Many people have stopped going to church because for some reason or other. They have been hurt, disillusioned. The church is not full of saints. It is a place where people try to become holy in following Christ. We are human. The church is human. It is going to make mistakes. Jesus is the one. Christ before me. Christ behind me. Christ above me. Christ beneath me. Christ on my right and Christ on my left. Christ around me. Christ within me. Christ to guide me. Christ to guard me. Christ to forgive and heal me. Christ to love me. Glory to God for all things and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.